for your cast of the Why So Serious show on BlazeRadioOnline.com. It is Saturday, and it is time for the Why So Serious show on Blaze Radio, BlazeRadioOnline.com. I'm your host, as always, Jesse Not Morrison, as, always, as every other week, uh, <laughs> usually. But Jeremy has to leave this show. Actually, two of our esteemed co-hosts are leaving today, and that is Jeremy and Travis, the fact uh, the fact and stat guy over there on my, uh, toward my left, as you will see on the, <laughs> the camera, film. Is the camera working? Recording. Wave the, to the camera. The, the, the camera the is camera. working. Wave it. Wave to it. Hi. Yeah. Hi, camera. <laughs> Hi, camera. But we have, we have more important things to talk about than that. Um, sad day for me, boys. Why? Uh, so... By coin flip decision. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it is it because Joe Flacco left uh, left the Ravens? No, who cares? Uh, <laughs> we uh, you can check out again. You can check out the um, goodbye and you're out show on Mondays at I think 10 a.m. for uh, serious a. sports. That's early man. Yeah, serious sports. Well, they're a morning serious sports radio show wow. on Blaze Radio, BlazeRadioOnline.com. They are very good at what they do. Uh, very good. <laughs> very, what? <laughs> we are not very good at what we do. Oh, we are good at, at what we we are good. It's at always a good way to do, start kind off of. the show is saying we're not good at what we do. Yeah. I mean it's true. I mean I think we're pretty good. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm pretty talented, but that's just the Stu Gots in me. Um, but sad day for me, boys. As next week. Why, Chinese, Jesse? As next week, <laughs> since I lost the pick challenge due to a due to an AAF game. Hot Alliance shots. of American Football. The AF! <laughs> I have to dress in U of A clothes next Je- week. Jesse, University okay. of Arizona. What? what it's house? okay. Bear down. Oof. Oof. Ouch. Yikes. That hurts. Could be one of those house divided people. Forks <laughs> forks down. <laughs> you know, like. That just sounds bad for ASU either way. Bear up! <laughs> It's okay. Sparky. Also sounds bad. <laughs> Sparky for will still love you. Sparky will still love you. All right. Probably not. Yeah, All right. Well, Sparky well, he doesn't love him to begin with. So guys, that. guys, it it started last week. It started. It it did. What is it? It did. What is what what did? Yeah. The hot shots. They won. Thirty-eight to twenty-two. Big win, Jesse. Big win for the hot shots. Yeah, former Wake Forest great John Wolford, 275 <laughs> yards, four touchdowns. I didn't see Scooby Wright anywhere. We were talking up Scooby Wright last week, and it didn't look like he played that much in the game. Who cares? Scooby. Oh, no. They got big Wake, game versus Memphis. Now. Wake legend. Wake legend, boys. Wake. Is that all you got on it? Like, that's all you got on the hot shots? You know that their quarterback went to Wake, Wake Forest? Forest yeah. So, so here's, here's my thing on the hot shots. Here's my thing on the hot shots. So... Everything about it is 100% amazing, except for the, the tops of the uniforms. Oh, God, they're so ugly. The, the yellow, if they were all green, it would be fine, but I get it. It's like the actual fire fighter uniform, but, like, the, their whole thing is awesome. The logo, they play sh- this song after every touchdown. Do they really? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. When they're, when they're on offense, they're chopping down... Uh, it's uh, when they're on third down. It's a chainsaw, like they're chopping down the trees Jeez. in the forest. What are they, Oregon State? And then, and then it's a good on. Good reference. I like that. And then on. Uh, the chainsaw. And then on defense, it's, it's a fire alarm. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm so happy that this is a thing, and I hope that the fans keep coming out to Tonight. it. Tonight, keep coming out. No one wins. <laughs> well, they, there was like 10,000, 15,000. Oh, Jesse. There, there was like 15,000 people there. Uh, I'm not. Did you but but, but the, the fans were into it. The fans were. In, okay. I was told they were into it. So yeah, I'm very happy the, about here's that. Here's the thing. Memphis tonight. Big game. Big Ooh. game. Ooh. You know who's on Memphis, right? No. Hackenberg. He got benched, though, didn't he? Did he get benched? So, I guys, know. I have uh, last week's scores. Um, he looked terrible. Orlando won 40-6 to over Atlanta. The old ball coach getting a victory. Yeah. If you if you don't know who that is, then you should, and I'm not going to name his name because you should just know it. Um, it's true. Uh, uh, by He's the way, put it on the poll. Travis, put it on the poll. Should you know who the old ball coach is without saying his name? Steve Spurrier. Yes or no? Real Steve quick. Spurrier. 
The game yes. attendance for the Hot Shots last week was 11,751 people. Oof. There wasn't that many. Yes, there was. That was yeah, that was, that was true. That's now, true. That's no, true. No, 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 there, Sun Devil Stadium there, was very spread out. The yeah, one thing I questioned, though, yeah. about attendance is, is that tickets sold or is that tickets yeah, that's, scanned that's what inside I'm saying. the I building? Think it's, I think it's tickets sold. I, I don't – I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. No. So Tra- the, Travis, put it on the poll, though. Uh, should you know who – the old ball coach. Who the is. old ball coach. And that and our poll is at the Y So Serious Show Twitter account. That is Y So Serious Show, the letter Y on Twitter. And so I'm just going to roll through the scores of week one of the AAF. The F! Orlando 40, Atlanta 6. So old ball coach getting that big win. San Antonio 15, San Diego 6. Boo. <laughs> um. That big game with Memphis tonight. Are we not going to talk about Mike Berkovici getting killed? Well, we, I'm first... getting there. I'm getting there, Jeremy. <laughs> Always trying to take over the show for me every week. It doesn't say it on on the on the rundown. I'm just saying, like you I'm, should probably I, put it on the rundown. I, if can, you're talk about I it. have a brain. I don't have to put everything on the rundown. Well, you Jeremy. always tell me to put everything on the rundown. Yeah, because I sometimes question if you have a brain. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Okay, carry on. <laughs> did, did that actually offend you, Jeremy? No, no, it's just carry on. Like, I, you, you know, know I, I was joking, I, no, right? No, I, I, I understand where okay. you're coming from. Jeremy's going to go cry in a corner while no, I... I don't c- get cont- offended by the things you say. Okay. Maybe you'll All get right. offended by the things All I say. Right. Eh, eh, sometimes. Uh, only when they're really bad. Um, Birmingham, only when, only when you criticize the fact that I like the Tony Kornheiser Show podcast. <laughs> Tony! And, yeah, Tony! 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 Tony, that's no. his intro. No, Come it's on. not. Yes, it is. It <laughs> is his intro. <laughs> All right, but Birmingham, big 26 to nothing win over Memphis. So that, that big game with Memphis tonight, Memphis had zero points. They're probably the worst team in the league that's so just far. They had Hackenberg yeah. as a quarterback. Yeah, that guy's not good. Jet still should have given him an opportunity. No, that's just my have. opinion. Dude, he had 80 yards on 50 passing attempts or something. Bill, Bill O'Brien should always keep his job just because he turned Hackenberg into a second round pick. <laughs> Bill O'Brien, not a bad coach. Yeah. Um, He's okay. And then Arizona with a big 38-22 to victory. But, guys, did you see Mike Bercovici get absolutely laid out? And there was no flag! And it was like, it was because it because it, it wasn't an illegal and hit. And that he ball hit. came out. That ball came out! It Why did. don't we have the sound of that? Because it's not from our sh- like. Yeah, but everybody has. Everybody in Blaze has. Matt has that sound. Braden has that sound. But the ball, like, it came out when he got tackled. So that's what I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, like, it, it, I love how the AAF is not being stupid like the NFL. The F. It's, the one F. Game, it's one game, Jesse. You don't want to. You, it's going to wait maybe a couple weeks. You don't want to kill the product right off the bat. Hey, we have an audience, guys. There are people watching us from outside of the, the show. Some some is family really? touring. Oh, God. We should probably be serious for a second. Uh, no, 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 no. Of course not. Um, they, they, they should know what they're getting their child into. I like how when um, I Google... Can I, can like, I make my, my uh, uh, like, an early Why So Serious? It won't be my official. Or, no, uh, I mean, what are we doing? My Not my official, what are we doing, is uh, Mike Bergovici is a quarterback in the AAF when he has a law degree. Eh, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I like how when you... What would you rather be, a stodgy old lawyer or a uh, stud in the AF? Probably a lawyer. lawyer I, was I, would def- I would definitely go stud in the AF. What's the paycheck for in the uh, AF? Like 80000 a year? Yeah, it's about 100000 nice. Yeah, that's a nice, a that's a nice cut. But like, what I, what I wanted to talk about, though, is how I'm so happy that the AF is not uh, flagging people for clean hits. Like that was that hit was to his head. The, what happened was the the like the shock from the force from that hit caused the helmet to fly off. So I'm very happy that the AF is not, you know, being stupid Are like you the NFL. Press the Why so serious button or? Oh yeah, I have that sound. Forgot about that. <laughs> One. Comment. I mean, I wasn't really being. I'm not gonna play it because I was saying AF. The AF. The whole time. The AF. The Alliance of American Football League. The AF. <laughs> <laughs> The one comment I want to make here is I watched the Mike Bercovici hit on YouTube once again. I like how the outfitter for the uniforms is Starter. <laughs> Do they sell Starter jackets there at the games? I hope so. I'd what, buy one. What I'd was, buy a Hot Shot Jesse, Starter jacket. Jesse, Jesse, what was Mike Ber- Bercovici's helmet on that play? Do you remember? Off. No, no, no. What? No. What, what, <laughs> what, was, what was the brand? You, you know the brands Off. of all the helmets. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, I believe that he is wearing a Riddell uh, Revolution Speed Flex um, Precision Fit Speed Flex 
Um, I don't know the face mask, but it, I think it's just a standard QB or it's a Ropo. I don't remember 100%. But, um, I, or he's wearing a shut eye on. Uh, he's he's kind of gone back and forth between those two. Good. That was off the top of my head, by the way. You're doing a great job, Jesse. Also, that was time for this. Why so serious? I should play that again because, you know, as usual, the volume was down too low. Why so serious? You should probably keep the volume just up at all times on that one. All right. Well, um, moving on to uh, Producing so- in the middle of the show is awesome. Ooh, real quick, we do have a hot shot birthday today. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Robert Nelson Jr. A happy birthday to him. I don't oh, care. Sir. Good luck. Yeah. There we go. Uh, well, Jeremy, um, uh, it looks like I uh, don't have your Gattuso sound waiting in. So I got to, you know, go look for it. Um, but, you know, you got some soccer to talk about. Yeah. I don't know where, what happened Champions to Champions League it. football was this week. <laughs> soccer. Championship. Champions League football was this week. Soccer in the standings. The s- soccer standings. <laughs> Tottenham <laughs> Hotspur. Big time win. They beat Dortmund in Wembley in the first leg. I think it was 3 or 4 nil. And, uh, you know, uh, Pulisic has not been getting a lot of playing time, but he played the full, almost the full 90, played about 84 minutes. And, uh, yeah, 3-0. It, it, for uh, for Spurs, Human Son scored in the 70, uh, 47th minute. Jan Vertonghen scored in the 83rd. He was playing left back for this game as they had Davidson Sanchez and Alderweireld playing center back. And uh, they had uh, Vertonghen playing left back. And I'm not sure who was playing right back in this game because Trippier was on the bench. But uh, Lorente came in. He came on in like the 85th minute and scored like right away. Gosh, this to, is awful. To put, it up, put him up 3-0. So that was, that was great for Tottenham. Why but then so PSG, without Neymar, without Cavani, Ugh. roll into Old Trafford, Why put up a so 2-0 serious? victory in the first leg. Max, That's this is the worst thing we've ever done on the show. Big. What? This is the worst thing. Are you even paying attention? No. Yeah, two, neither am I. I have no idea what he's talking two about. Two big away goals. I'm not even going to fact check How this. much? How much more time do we uh, allow for this, Max, before I just go into NASCAR? Kim Pembe care. scored in the 53rd minute, and, and Kylian Mbappe, who's one of the best players in the world, he's, he's still on PSG, obviously. He's gone. Um, Jeremy, you can come back when, uh, when you want to. Uh, just give me a thumbs up, but you're not, you can't talk about soccer for the rest of this. And the good thing is, is I am controlling this board, so that means that I can talk as much NASCAR for the next six minutes that I can. Great. Hi. Hi. Hi, Jeremy. No no soccer talking. All right. And Bob so, with the balance of order. Nope. Here. You're gone. You're gone again. All you right, guys. guys. talk about NASCAR and soccer at the same time and just talk over each other. <laughs> that would have been a good thing to talk about before the show, Max. <laughs> always, <laughs> always, <laughs> always producing on the show. No, because we have better stuff to talk about. And that is the biggest event Great. of the weekend. Hello. Oh, yeah. He, you're on. The granddaddy of them all. That's the Rose Bowl. <laughs> this is the Great American Race, Jeremy. Here we go. The great Here we go. Of them all. Of them all. All right. So, tomorrow, 12:30 Mountain Standard Time, 2:30 Eastern Time. Daytona 500. Left turns. Fast racing. My my Hendrick Motorsports guys are have been killing it so far in practices and warm-up races. Who William won, Byron. Who won last week? Jimmy my Johnson. Bo- my boy the, Jimmy. In the clash at Daytona last week, which is like... Jimmy J. Which is like basically like the third preseason game for football. So it's like the preseason game that people actually care about. Yeah, there was, um, there was a nice amount of people in the, in the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched so, the first and second lap, and then I turned it off. Nice. Um, I'm glad that you turned in. But uh, Jimmy won that, so, you know... After no wins last year, he gets a win in an exhibition race, which is, you know, progress. He's got a new crew chief, uh, a new— It's a young and up-and-coming crew chief, right? Like I, I don't know. Um, you don't know anything about Jimmy Johnson's new crew chief? No, I don't. Um, but I know that a- Ally Financial is his new sponsor. His car looks— <laughs> All my looks, Hendrick Motorsports guys. He, he, uh, <laughs> his car looks dope. Um, on the pole— William, Dope. So dope. On the pole. Dope. The, the number 24 car is on the pole. That is William Byron. He's a young and up-and-comer from— uh, go, goes to school in Lynchburg, Virginia, where I'm from. Um, I really, he still goes to school? 
yeah, he goes to school at the same. Well, it's one of his Liberty University sponsors his car, so that like you know he makes he makes kind of like how University of Phoenix sponsored Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah. Oh, we got a caller. Is I guess we have to move on from from uh, finally this. Damn. Yeah, but the, the NASCAR race that Jesse and I went to was a lot of fun. We covered it on our well, Twitter page. You can follow us on at Why So Serious Show. That's the uh, letter Why So Serious <laughs> Show on Twitter. I'll put you on. <laughs> Jesse just forgets to turn off his microphone sometimes. But um, coming up on the phone in the, on the – Yeah, right now we have a love, love expert, Stacy Schne- Stacy Schnell. Stacy, How are you doing? Turn up her volume. Oh, there she is. You there? There I am. Yeah. Now I can hear forgot you. To, forgot to turn on the F1 button. I did turn on the on button, but, you <laughs> okay. know, it's fine. It fits in with our show. SLSTherapy.com if you want to check out her website. That's SLSTherapy.com. Um, Stacy, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Um, and actually, CWCSF.com is, uh, is a better website. He got his <laughs> mom's... CWCSF.com. Um, he got his mom's... Uh, uh, what is it? Sur- service count like counseling and wellness uh, center of South Florida. Yeah, he got it. He got it wrong, and it's his own mom's thing. So let's just. It's all right. The SLS. The SLS one is just about me, though. You know, oh, okay. I got you. I got you. My, it's just my old one. Just, it's it's know, the better one. Of me because it's, it's all about one. my mom. <laughs> all right. So uh, so uh, what 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 was the you know we we wanted to get you on last week, but you know this week. We we had to do this week. So like, what what what's the best thing to do on on Valentine's Day? Like, how, what's a perfect Valentine's Day? The perfect Valentine's Day is to be with the one you love and celebrate with them. Um, and so yeah, I was going to give you guys tips last week, but I was on a plane to New York to celebrate my Valentine with my Valentine. All right, uh, rock Mom, and Ron Schnell, mother. Uh, That's right, Rock my, and Ron Schnell. Mother dearest, how, are, how you're yes. doing? You're doing good today. I miss you. Yes. I'll, I'll see you next I week. Miss you too. In a couple of weeks, actually. I can't wait. Um, so, question: If yes. one were to forget Valentine's Day and not give their significant other a present, please tell me you didn't do no, this. No, I didn't okay. do this. But um, for all of our listeners out there that have a significant other or their mothers as their Valentine or something like that. Um, that that didn't get their <laughs> <laughs> that didn't get their uh, their Valentine a present and forgot Valentine's Day. What is the next step for these people? Um, beg and plead and say you're sorry and make Valentine's Day another day. Um, make it up to the person. Actually, uh, over 50% of women who are um, forgotten about on Valentine's Day end up breaking up with their uh, boyfriends. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so, so really, really, really try and uh, um, make it right. Give it up to Hallmark to create yeah. a <laughs> holiday that is that uh, ruins people's lives. <laughs> you got- you got a 50-50 chance to get it broken up with. I mean, the, the, what you do is you it's, set a phone reminder a week before. It's actually like 53%. Oof. No. Oof. <laughs> so uh, out there, all of our <laughs> listeners, um, do not forget Valentine's Day. And if you do forget Valentine's Day, make sure to go to cwcsf.com and uh, make an appointment with, uh, with those wonderful therapists over at the Counseling and Wellness Center of South Florida. Uh, we got we got a lot of wonderful uh, ladies and gentlemen over there helping out a lot of great people. This is all coming like a couple of days too late. All this advice, all of yeah. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, well, it, yeah. it, for all of our listeners, which I'm sure like our show kind of feels like the show that people who forgot about Valentine's Day would definitely <laughs> listen to. So um, I'm sure that and I'm they're sh- all and they're all crying because they got broken up with, right? Fifty three percent of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesse, that was witty. That was good. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's <laughs> yeah. that's. I kill it on the phone calls, guys. Now, now, uh, now, Stacy. Uh, yeah. All Star Game coming up tomorrow. Dwayne Wade is in the All Star Game. Dwayne your, Wade. One of your favorite players yes. of all time. Probably your favorite player of all time. Uh, would you say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, what absolutely. are you most looking forward to? He is on Team LeBron. Uh, tomorrow so are are you excited about yeah, that yeah i'm looking i'm looking forward to some you know uh lebron d wade uh, alley-oop 
D Wade, yeah, Ali You know, I I can't wait for that. You mean the second greatest Miami Heat player after Alonzo Mourning? <laughs> Yell at him. Yell yeah. at him, please. <laughs> what about Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah, Shaq. Shaq's also like better. Ray Allen's better. Are you excited for the Jersey <laughs> oh, did retirement you see, did coming you see up? Ray on... Allen shooting shooting oh, four pointers. Four pointers. Last night? Yes. Let's they talk better about not that. do a four pointer in the NBA. Jesse, Jesse, oh my that. gosh, that would ruin the game. Uh, that would ruin the game, Jeremy. Stacy, Jesse was telling if, me if you were behind if you were behind the Ruffles line, you were shooting. Four yeah, it was the Ruffles celebrity night. game. No, uh, no. Yeah. Uh, no advertisement, by the way. But I, uh, I, I don't, I don't want that to be in, in real basketball. That would ruin the game. It would. There, there would people would score hundred points all the time. I would Jesse hate was it. yelling hate at it. me yesterday when I was telling him that the four point line would be awesome. No, you never. You, you didn't say that. What about uh, Tim Hardaway? <laughs> Tim Hardaway up in the rafters. First ever Heat player up in the rafters. By the you way, you know who else is up in the rafters? <laughs> Shaq, Michael Jordan. Shaq. Yeah. You know who else is up in the yeah. rafters? Dan at, in Cleveland. Dan Big Marino Z. Is, uh, yeah, is, Big is Z was a beast. Yeah, Dan Marino's also up in the rafters at the American Airlines. Travis, right? put it on the poll. Was Zadrunas Igalskis a, quote, beast? Yeah, you're, you're guess or no. <laughs> what team's Channing Fry on in the All-Star game? I think he retired, didn't he? No, he's on the Cavs. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> that guy's played way too long. Um, so people who are going to watch the All-Star game tomorrow instead of going out on a date... <laughs> <laughs> what do you suggest that they do? Oh, instead of going out on a date, um, yeah. invite their uh, their significant other over, uh, make a, a lovely dinner, uh, have some flowers, specifically if you uh, forgot Valentine's Day, some chocolate. Um, Is yeah. someone in the room in this situation, oh, Jeremy? No, 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 no. <laughs> She's working tomorrow. Um, but... Um, um, what about people that want to watch the Elimination Chamber instead? <laughs> they should of going be broken up with, right? <laughs> Those, if you want to watch WWE the Elimination Chamber over hang out with your uh, significant other, you, you should be you should, you should be broken up with, right? That that's over. That's a that's a that's a definite no. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> what? So if I wanted to watch WWE instead of go out with the family, I'd probably get in trouble, right? Yeah, oh, okay. most definitely. Definitely a week long grounding there. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I think that might time. be a, that might be a two year room grounding at least for one of those days. <laughs> I, mean, fa- I mean, it's fake wrestling. Travis would agree that he, with all of what we're saying. F A K E capitalized fake. <laughs> Yeah, if you want if you Whoa. want to talk uh, WWE, you should get your uh, uncle on the phone there. Check <laughs> me. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is just a family affair. It's been a family affair for the entirety of the show so far. Like, yeah, I don't think we, we've we've not had one professional. What are you guest. talking about? Ah! Oh, there he is, Rockin'. <laughs> uh, Rockin', uh, how have you liked the show so far today? How are we doing? Uh, I have my. I'll have my take in a minute. I don't want to take any of my uh, Valentine's time. Oh, okay. Glenn Rice. Aw, he got me roses. <laughs> Glenn Rice or Glenn Rice Jr. I don't know. I just looked up great Miami Heat players. Do we do we need to go to break? Ronnie Cycli, Syracuse, great, right, Ron? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you gonna you gonna tell tell them about our Valentine's Day? Absolutely not. I have uh, some less serious and sports related things to talk about. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's well, hear we, this. Let's we hear actually this. attended a sports event on Valentine's. Day. Oh, oh, what was it? My cousin's basketball game. Oh, hey, yeah. Didn't she like win a big? She won a big state championship, right? No, she's going to. She she's uh she's got three more games until the state championship. Nobody, Ooh, it's a lot. It's a, it was a regional game. Regional game. Yeah. They they already won the district. Future uh, Charlie Turner Thorn recruit. Did we just violate NCAA <laughs> rules right there? <laughs> There's no money exchange. So I think we're good. Yeah, Charlie's Charlie doesn't give money to her players. Come on. <laughs> That's some strong words, Jesse. She doesn't. Does Charlie give money to her players, yes or no? On do the not put that on the poll. <laughs> Absolutely do not put that. Travis, do not put that on the poll. I cover them. That would ruin my life. Uh, honestly, do not put that on the poll. It's on the poll. No, I'm deleting that right away. I'm making so, sure that that is no, not. I'm just before okay, we Why are you state... so serious, Jesse? Yeah, well, i got to play it. But before when it comes to our jobs. Why so serious? Before we let Stacy go, 
um, congratulations on your expansion of your business as uh, they, they knocked down the wall in between the, the two offices uh, and, and they, they now have a much bigger office at the Counseling and Wellness Center of South Florida. Oh, thank you so much for the plug. So uh, make sure to go. And if you have any troubles, just uh, check that out on uh, on Google CWCSF and uh, and uh, yeah. They'll, with they'll the, with that, we're gonna up. with that we're uh, in, unless Rockin. Do you have anything else for us? Well, Rockin. We'll, we'll oh yeah, I got I got leave plenty. them on and we'll bring for you. We'll, we'll, yeah, can you stay with yeah, us Rock and stay with us. We're gonna bring you back after we go to break. But we have to we have to go to break here on the Why So Serious Show, Blaze Radio, Blaze Radio online.com rock and ron schnell staying on the line while we are at break stay tuned for him station identification turn my headphone down a little bit yeah 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 all right yeah. we are back yeah on the why yeah. so serious show yeah blaze radio yeah. Yeah. blaze radio online.com i am jesse morrison alongside me jeremy schnell Max Bechtold, Travis Whitaker. Travis, we're going to throw it over to your fact of the day. Wait for your intro. And then we will get to Rock and Ron Schnell, who is still on the line. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, Travis, here is your intro, and then we'll go into you. Very poor intro. Let me try that again. You have to pause the other thing. Hey, Travis! The fact of the day. We want it now. The fact of the day. God, I can't. All right, host much week. better, <laughs> much better. Travis, go, go ahead. So the fact of the day or fact of the week this week is a couple years ago I was in Washington D.C. for a journalism multimedia. We have conference. no idea if this is true, by the way. <laughs> oh, I got pictures. I got pictures of me being there. No, 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 not of you being there, but of the of this fact actually being a a fact. fact. So j- just just to stay with you know. Um, uh, the, the whole guidelines right, right, of right, the right, let, let him talk. Let him talk. But I was told during one of my uh, meetings that I had <laughs> that Michael Wilbon has played Pokemon Go. Whoa! What? He played Pokemon Go? How about that? Big time he... journalist Michael <laughs> wow. Wilbon has played. Big news. Big I don't know time if journalist. He still plays actively, but I know that he has played at least at one point in his life. This has been our worst show. <laughs> We say that every week. <laughs> no, 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 no. Last week was our best show. Okay, rock and run. All right. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. Hold, hold on. One I more. don't think a fact of the day should start with, I was told that. <laughs> doesn't, something doesn't reconcile there. <laughs> yeah, we probably What's going on, guys? Hi. Hi, hey, rockin'. What's up, rockin'? All right. So, All so, right. Mine, my, yeah. so, so keep so keep on, uh, keep on with the... Uh, Whatever you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Minus 5.8 degrees in Guelph to the, uh, today. Uh, a little bit chilly. You guys Oof. may know that last night was the big Highway 7 rivalry match with the uh, Kitchener Rangers. Uh, terrible game. Blowout. Uh, total blowout. Really bad. Really bad. Um, oh, my. I, <laughs> what? Just, um, the, I'm going to have a segment. What Jeremy and I were talking about a segment called the uh, the rules, the Rock and Ron's rules segment, where we talk about rules in various sports. Some of them should be pretty obvious, like the double dribble rule. Jesse, are you familiar with the double dribble rule? Yes, I I've gotten better with my double dribble rule this past week. What happened? I mean, I want to. You know, I just you know I haven't played basketball in a while. Jesse, you you play intramural basketball every week. Yeah, but but those refs (laughs) suck. They don't know what they're. Dude, literally, we play intramural football, intramural flag football every week, and we we you travel travel with the ball. Dude, we go. Jesse, you are the one that literally said last week, "I'm done criticizing refs. I'm done blaming refs." Okay, well, I'm not blaming the refs for anything. (laughs) I'm just saying that they're terrible. And like, literally, what we do in intramural football is we yell and scream like we're like oh my gosh that was a catch that was a catch that was a catch and then the ref looks around confused and is like uh yeah that's a catch so uh <laughs> we yeah very very um uh, not not the best refs they kind right. they kind of are right, influenced Jesse. by the players I have to say that that was an excellent misdirection but really what i'd like to hear is what how what did, what was your understanding of the double dribble rule that you thought that that was not a double dribble? Like, what did you think it I was? I thought if you lost the ball, like, you can take it 
like if you lose you can, the ball, you can get it back and then dribble again. Like, but <laughs> but I, I figured out that you have to. You can't pick it up with two hands. You have to just keep with the one. Yeah, you have to dribble the ball. You can't yeah. put your hand under the ball. Yeah. I In other know. words, you thought that you could double dribble. Is is basically <laughs> what you thought. Right? Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, kind of. Um, right. However. Uh, that's the NBA, the bohemian, every... that's a very bohemian attitude, I'd have to say. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm talking about there. Yeah, Jeremy thinks that uh, Jeremy thinks that um, people from the Bahamas. Bahamas are bohemian. That is an a region in Europe and Bohem- close to the Czech, Czech Republic. Bo- bohemian. It's, 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 it's bohemian. It's isn't it? Bahamian. 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 Yes, yeah. thank you. We were both wrong though. I thought it was Bahamian, which is so wrong. <laughs> well, you could pronounce it that way, I guess. Yeah. Oh, so I'm right, Jeremy. <laughs> I'm always right. <laughs> so what about this AAF? I have to admit ah. that this show has been very, 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 very educational for me. I knew nothing of the AAF. Well, the AAF. And now, and now I know everything about it. It's, um, it's amazing. And what? I mean, how embarrassing is this for Steve Spurrier and Dennis Erickson? Uh, <laughs> they're, they're they're now head coaches in the AA. What is the AAF? It is a very minor league football. It is a minor league. It's the league. NFL rejects. Yeah, it's the NFL rejects league. Um, so Mike Bercovici, Trevor Knight, um, Trent Richardson had 21 guys. carries for 60 yards and two touchdowns. No, I believe he had 20 carries for 49 yards. No, it was. I believe it was 21 Ooh. for 60. Travis left though, so we don't know. <laughs> we don't know what it's going to be. Um, yeah, but yeah. I mean, so I mean, when when Dennis Erickson puts on, I mean, gets dressed in the morning for his AAF game in yeah. the like. City, uh, what must he be thinking? Like, what has happened to his life? <laughs> um, also, he what, was a crappy ASU coach, and wait, so not a good wait for thing it. happened. Color commentator Jeff Fish, Jeff Fisher, by the way. Also, color commentator <laughs> commentator um, Marvin Lewis. Oh yeah, that. Don't guy. get me wrong. If Jeremy uh, got a job doing play-by-play for the AAF, I'd, I'd have a big party. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's a good job on CBS and the yeah. NFL Network. It's a, Absolutely, it's a good job for Jeremy. Um, how you know, I I really like this league though. I think it's gonna last. It's got uh, Bill Polian running it. It's got. Well, that's not <laughs> that's not something that makes me think it's gonna last. Bill Polian's a great GM, isn't he? Yeah, Rockin'. he also said that. <laughs> there have been. Uh, at least I don't want to say something reckless, so I won't. Yeah, <laughs> there have been at least three GMs better than Bill Polian. <laughs> no, no, at least three spring football league, leagues that have started and failed. Um, you have the uh, the PSFL, I believe it was called. You mean and the, then the uh, the USFL and then the XFL. Well, the oh, USFL failed exactly. because Donald Trump decided to move Lord, it to the fall. Excuse, excuse you, um, that's President Trump. Shut too. up. Uh, yeah, he, <laughs> Donald Trump decided to move it to what the fall. Are we fall. on the last show now? The previous show? <laughs> 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 I wanted to call into that one, but I didn't get a phone number. Do, do they talk about it's the same number? <laughs> same number. Uh, do, do they talk about? Uh, is it a political show? Yeah. It oh. is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, last week we saw the guy. He was uh, he was in a Make America Great Again hat. Oh yeah. We just got sure really we political on the We were in the middle, by the way. It was twenty three carries for fifty eight yards. Oof, that's a Trent Richardson game if I've ever heard. I thought you it. meant politically you're in the middle. <laughs> I mean yeah. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> Max, no political opinions on the Y so serious show. What? Uh, no no I wasn't pl- giving them. Mm. I was saying we were in the middle on the Trent Richardson. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, good. Good. Do you guys All want right. me to fill in for Jeremy since he has to leave in uh, three minutes? Do we want rocking for the rest of the show? Uh, I, I think I, I think, think he Max kinda... and Jesse want to see how it goes without me. <laughs> kind of do. Yeah, we kind of want to see how it goes without Jeremy because you know I kind of drive the show most of the time. I don't think I he could does. do a Jeremy impression. I, I can. I'm pretty good. Yes, at it. Yes, please do a Jeremy impression. I want to hear this. I, I've been doing it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> it's kind of like that SpongeBob scene where he's like, "You want to see me run to that rock and back? You want to see me do it again?" <laughs> no, this is this, this is this is Jeremy. Please tell me if I'm wrong, Rockin or Max. Everybody says it is. Everybody says that's right. I know it's right. I know it's right. And then I'm like, Jeremy, look, it says right here that it's wrong. And he's like, "Yeah." I heard it. I just sounds like a Jesse impression. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a both of us, but I, I don't. I don't do the that. everybody says the voice, that it's right. The voice thing. was more like Jesse, but the content was more like Jeremy. <laughs> 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 all right, Rock, and you got anything else for us? Any more Guelph That's Guelph all. news? Well, you know, just uh, it's cold. It's cold in Guelph, and uh, <laughs> you know we're still upset about last night's game. Too little, too late. Um, and the coach really let him have it in the, in the dressing room. It was uh, in the room. Pretty bad yeah. situation. In the room. <laughs> all right. Well. 
Thank you, Rockin', for that amazing segment as usual. We will talk well, to you hopefully happy. next week. Tell tell mom uh, thank you by the way. Oh yeah, thank. Oh, th- did she? Yeah, yeah, by yeah. the way, did she? Did, I need to know. Did she say anything about me in the, during the uh, relationship? She, she said you you did a horrible Valentine's Day. Uh, I know. I was trying to apologize. If you talk to her again, tell her I'm sorry. Okay, we will definitely. Okay. All right, thanks, Rockin'. Uh, I'll talk yeah. to you in a few minutes. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Rock and Ron with us here on Blaze Radio, blazeradioonline.com. Does he, does he just exponentially. Oh, www.barneyouttakes.com. Uh, yeah, Barney does, does he just exponentially improve this show every time he comes on? Yes. Like, I feel like our show our show really like loosens up as soon as he comes on. And we start. It's because he was on the radio for so long better. at Syracuse. So All right. Well, Travis kind of left this. before he could do corrections. What about. How about that fact of the day today, boys? Uh, it's just a gem. <laughs> it was amazing. Let's uh, do what are we doing real quick before I have to leave. Yeah. Let, let's let's do that. Um, and then I want to talk about how we went viral, but let's do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one gets the show. What are we doing? This what are we doing? Can I go first? All right, Jeremy's turn first. I have no idea what he's doing today. Well, I was gonna do Vince McMahon, but I might do the people that <laughs> that didn't know what we were talking about in our poll. Can I do that? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. Um, so we we put a poll out on uh, on Twitter. It, 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 <laughs> It said, and tell me if this sounds like at all serious to you. Is Kirk Cousins a Devontae Adams away from being Aaron Rodgers? And the answers all, were yes, no, and LOL. And it's like 98%. All of the Packer fans, all the Packer fans were all up in our mentions. We got 326 votes on this. <laughs> they thought we, we were a Vikings fan. Followers. <laughs> all the Packers fans 34 now, I were calling us uh, Viking fans and, and were laughing. Oh, don't you guys have Stefan Diggs and Adam Thielen? We're like, <laughs> imagine commenting on a show called Why So Serious thinking that we're serious. My lights just went out. <laughs> yes, ah, yeah, the lights went it's kind of cool, over. though. Just start waving around. You... It's kind of cool. No, it's going to be weird. Like this. Go like this. It's going to be jump, weird. Jump on up the, and down. Uh... Jump up and down. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird on the on the film, but I, I kind of like it. It's cool. All right. Uh, well, right, we'll yeah. keep doing this until the next break. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. I, I don't understand those those, those people. Uh, they they don't get funny. the show. They really don't get, get our show. And... Uh, maybe they should listen in and actually, you know, those 331 LOLs or whatever uh, should listen in. Because, yeah. I mean, come on. It, it, it obviously, obviously Stefan 90. Diggs and Adam Thielen are comparable wide receivers to Devontae Adams. And, you know, we, we were just we were really just kind of taking a jab at Kirk Cousins for being <laughs> an average game manager. Hey, that, I was very proud of that take. What the Devonte Adams one? The, the, yeah, Kirk Cousins is Devonte Adams away from. All right, being so Rogers. the Twitterverse. What are we doing? What are we doing? This... What are we doing? All right, so I'm gonna go now. Before I get it to it was Max. actually 301 people that voted uh, LOL, not 331. Okay, well that's fine. Um, so, uh, guys, what the heck is America doing right now? <laughs> It's a good question. <laughs> so I've been looking at. I don't know if this segment is is going where you guys think it's going. Because okay, wait. so. <laughs> but I'm sure you thought of a lot of different things yeah. that could come after. So, so you know, I like to check out the ratings of the sports podcasts. You know, I like to check out where where stupidity, stupidity, is going, and where the Tony Kornheiser show is. Like I like to check where they are, but, um. I noticed hovering around the top 40, top 50, top 60 was the forward with, guess who, Max? Who? Lance Armstrong. <laughs> Thanks for playing her along there, Max. So, so people, people in America are giving Lance Armstrong a rating. And let me just read this little podcast description that is just the biggest amount of BS that you would ever hear in, of all time. The Forward Podcast with Lance Armstrong gives the audience a rare and revealing listen into Armstrong's conversations with an an eclectic range of personalities, some well-known, others simply with intriguing stories to tell, (laughs) guests which hail from the worlds of politics, entertainment, art, and business, oh, art, business, sport, and beyond, have included Malcolm Gladwell, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Chris Everett, and the Avett Brothers. The foreword often touches on the theme or concept from which the podcast's name is drawn. All right, here we go. What an A-list group of guests, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't understand how, 
what, like, what, what are they doing too? Like, come on, like, how are, how are like? I mean, when Neil deGrasse Tyson is your big name, are you really like? Chris Everett's it? one of the greatest players. Of, Avid Brothers, very popular band. Um, like the the forward often touches on the theme, or Charles Barkley was also on. The forward often touches on the theme or concept from which the podcast's name is drawn. Pressing onward in the face of adversity or challenge, and seizing it, the opportunity to continually grow from experience. Lance Armstrong, you need to grow from experience. <laughs> Above all, the forward podcast <laughs> is a personal, honest BS. Engaging and always entertaining dialogue that leaves the listener with new heights and perspective. Number one, who is listening to this? I don't understand this. What? What? Who gives this guy the time of day? I don't know, man. What? What? Like? What? What? Like? Can, can you elaborate on what, what? What happened in class with you? With me? Yeah. No, we're not going on. Today. Okay. Well, uh, America and big name celebrities. Um, by the way, Malcolm Gladwell, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Chris Everett, the Avid Brothers, and Charles Barkley are never coming on the show. Um, yeah, what are we doing? And Jeremy is now hovering at my door, and it's very weird. He's, he wants He's to knocking now. now. Okay, Max, doing? just do your what are we doing. What are we doing? All right, we'll do. All right, I'm going to be 100% honest with you here. Uh, Jesse asked me to do this, so that's why I'm doing this one. Uh, Matt Kuchar uh, won a tournament uh, about a couple months ago. Uh, in Mexico, and he used a local caddy, and he paid him, like, basically nothing. Like, he paid him $5,000. The caddy said he was expecting $50,000. Uh, and then Kuchar said some very iffy comments about the whole situation, and uh, it didn't come off too great for Matt. Um, but apparently now uh, he has paid him the full amount of money and has had made apologies. So, yeah. That's the Matt Kuchar situation that Jesse wanted me to talk about. Okay, you're I got just a text. Gonna... I got a text like last night. Like, can you make this Matt Kuchar thing? Your what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, because I, I already had the Lance Armstrong has a podcast that America is giving uh, listens to. Eric, did you know that Lance Armstrong has a podcast? Yeah, and he had like like Neil deGrasse Tyson Ruby, and Charles Barkley yeah, came on. Yeah, hi. yeah. Eric Ruby on the show. He did those prop bets, and you know we exposed him as a fraud last week. <laughs> Wow. So, so yeah. Uh, well, so, now I'm about to leave. So, Matt Kuchar, what are, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? All right, so now I'm going to get into what, to how we exposed Eric as a frog. So, okay. um, during the Super Bowl, there, uh, we, 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 made a, we made a bet the day before the Super Bowl, a uh, prop bet, that uh -huh. the well, on the color of the, yeah, okay. of the Doritos bag in the first commercial, Eric says – I got it wrong. Eric says on the show yeah. that it was – going to be like an off color bag or a purple bag he and it was then close and then it was a deep dark red but but yeah but didn't you are claim you really faulting me for no, getting a no a, but did, didn't you claim though that you got see, it right I, th I think the no. text is unclear because he no i just said red, red bag. bag i didn't say i got it right but it was all yeah. caps no, because, doesn't that mean that? no because okay. no because uh -huh. we talked about it so much and max was like you know, I could also see them just going, like, red bag. I was like, I can see that too, but I was like, but I thought it was going to be a purple or yellow. I never said red bag, I got it right. I was just yeah. merely stating what the bag that, color was. Yeah, that was the thing. It was an unclear text. Check yourself, Jesse, before you start coming at me now. I think Come we on. talked about that last week. That was an unclear text, too. Yeah, so. it was. No, I, I was not saying red bag is in a, like, oh, my God, I got it right, red bag. I was just saying, yeah. oh, my God. It was a red, red bag. bag. You know, I was just trying to look for an excuse to uh, roast Eric because I enjoy that. Okay, sure. Because you know yeah. he gets he he has terrible takes. Like Terry Rozier is better than Tomas Sadoransky. I'm not even gonna acknowledge that. Honestly, I mean Tomas is honest. I watched some basketball. I don't even know who Tomas. Yeah, Tom, exactly. Thomas Sadoransky. My bad. No, it's, I, it's Thomas. It's Tomas. Uh, Washington Wizards uh, broadcaster Steve Buckhans calls him Thomas, but Steve Buckhans also said Marchine March, Marchin Gortat. Love that. Gotta love that. Yeah. The love whole that. time of his career. Now, Max, last year during bottom of the six, Jesse made the statement that this guy, this backup, backup point guard for the Wizards is better Starting than Starting point Rogier. guard who's gotten um, had multiple, like, 20-point, 10 um, assist games. He was better than Terry Rozier, and it was an all-out battle. <laughs> and it was a one-sided battle because I was the only one who had any valid points. Oh, and yeah. then so I went on Twitter, so and everybody so roasted uh, – Roasted Jesse as well, and you I know. love it. And so he keeps bringing it up, but we all know who was right there, Jesse. Do we? Why? Sounds like you're getting a little serious for our show. All right, all right no, do, I'm do, just saying. We got to go to break, Max. Okay. Come back. Eric, Eric can stay. Can stay. All right. Thank you for letting me stay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> say. Of course. I was worried. <laughs>
feel like this is a definite Max jam. There you go. You're on now. Okay, I'm on now. I was going to say, we're definitely speaking my language with the music now. Big fan. It's Eric, also like Eric, did not you turning down. Did you? Yeah, there did we you go. Did you hear our fact of the day? No, I did not. So apparently, Mike Wilbon has played Pokemon Go. <laughs> we love that. Love to hear that. <laughs> big, uh, big Pokemon Go guy. Did he it's, Pokemon it's not Go really to the polls though? Fact, but... Did he Pokemon Go to the polls? Did you have you seen that video? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We, why have we talked so much politics today, Max? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very political show. I hate that. <laughs> We're coming like, uh, I don't, I don't even know. Like, what's a <laughs> What's a political sports? Oh, we're we're uh, we're, uh what's what's Outside that guy? Lines. Fox? No, they don't. Fox. They don't uh, politics. Sometimes. Fox Sports. Oh, oh we got wow. another caller. Who's calling now? Is it Jeremy? Oh. You seem so upset that there's a caller. I'm usually happy yeah. there's a caller. This has been a big caller day for us. This will be our third guest. And Jesse's uh, now uh, picking up the phone. and I'm vamping for him. So Eric, uh, how's your life right now? <laughs> Well, Jesse turned off my mic, but uh, oh. it, it's been it's good. It's uh, just on, on this this journalism grind. We got our NBA roundtable coming up right after this, which we encourage people to call in instead of discouraging people. You can tweet us our questions. <laughs> We're doing a show by the fans for the fans today, since we don't have that much to talk about. We do all of our All Star Weekend predictions and all that, but you know it, it's going to be a fun time. I all would right. recommend everybody tune in. Well, Jeremy's on the phone. I don't know why he called in. We wanted to do a show without him, but uh, uh, he's just Stugatzing it up or Stephen Aing it up, whichever I one you want to say. I can't allow it. I can't he, allow he it. He has to be on on the air all the time, every day. So, uh, w- but what what we really want to talk about is what is our new thing that's going to replace the pick challenge, and that is our bracket for minor league baseball team names. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pick all of our favorite affiliated minor league baseball team names with the first four made up of, a, of independent team names. Um, I, uh, we, have, we have talked to the committee. The committee has spoken, and they have uh, you know, chosen out of our favorite team names what the best minor league baseball team names are. And so we're going to st- – and they're going to match up with the NCAA tournament. So wh- whoever wins an NCAA tournament game also wins the matchup. So, like, with our number one seed versus the 16, whoever so, – So let's say Duke is number one overall yeah. seed. The number one overall seed in our bracket will basically be Duke. So if Duke loses in the first round, the number one overall seed is out. Yes, that – which is which will probably not happen. Which is, which is going to happen well, – <laughs> Which is not going to happen, but Duke is going to be the number one seed. Max yes. that completely correct. Yes, so I'm going to get in to uh, unveiling this bracket. Uh, Eric, chime in. Drum uh, roll, please. This is, this is just the east side. We're just doing the east region of the bracket. Eric, chime, chime in if you think that the committee did a terrible job on selecting this. All right, so the committee, aka Jesse. Uh, w- no, it's a and, it's a very um strong committee made of fa- of uh great journalists. All right, Jesse, let's go. Including Mark. great journalist Jesse Morrison and Jeremy Schnell. Oh, just makes me get the feels. So, coming in, the number one seed out of the East Region. The Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. I like to hear that the the rest of the names in the region yeah, to properly just, rank them. Just yeah, just I'm not go gonna lie, a little bit here. underwhelmed to start. Yeah, go the a Iron bit Pigs, number one seed. The number six. Iron Pigs is underwhelming. Yes. I got high expectations when it comes to the minor league names. Number sixteen seed, Myrtle Beach Pelicans. Okay, yeah, no, that's right. right. Strong name. All right, we will go to the two fifteen matchup from here. The number two seed, Akron Rubber Ducks. Okay, that's better. That's better than the Iron Pigs. That's definitely better than the Iron Pigs. But you know, number one, number two seed. That's you know, that's not too much of a of a difference. You know, they had a they they had a tough loss in the conference championship game. I thought we were just going off names. Yeah. Well, oh, logos yeah. factor into this a little bit. Logos. Okay. So yeah, just a little bit. All right, who's the fifteen? Um, fifteen, the Chattanooga Lookouts. Yeah. What is it? I thought the, lookout, the mascot the for a lookout. I, I don't thought know. They- I thought they would be uh, the Pirates minor league team because the Lookouts are you know, the Pirates. They have Lookouts and stuff, but apparently they're not a Pirates. 
No, they are um, they are with the Dodgers, I believe. And uh, the lookout comes from uh, the Lookout Mountain in Chattanooga. I've been to Chattanooga. It's an awesome place. You got to go there. Good plug. Um, yeah, great plug. <laughs> We're all about plugs on the show. All right, so the the eight nine matchup. The Louisville Bats. That's B A T S. It's a p- oh, nice play. Love on- it. It's a play on Louisville Slugger. It's that like yeah, higher. it's a play on the Louisville Slugger as well as their mascot is a little legitimate like bat. That that should be like, higher. Animal. That should be higher. Eh. I don't think it's as funny as some of the other ones. And we are the Why So Serious show. All right. Number nine seed, Montgomery Biscuits. Throwing some love to the South. The nine seed? Yeah. That was a Jeremy thing. <laughs> it'd be way better than a nine seed. Why are you going to throw me under the bus like that? Because you said they were a nine seed. We also, we also, the committee also met very late at night over uh, some Skittles and uh, Gatorade. So, um, so what well, color Gatorade? Uh, delicious. I was drinking Lemon Lime Powerade. <laughs> um, all right. So, number seven seed. Daytona Tortugas. <laughs> number 10 seed. First is the number 10 seed. The Northwest Arkansas Naturals. If you've ever seen the movie The Natural, Robert Redford. Great movie. Yeah. One of the best baseball movies, right, Eric? Sure. I love okay. baseball. My it, favorite sport. Eric, the <laughs> host of the in of the MLB Roundtable show. Yeah, MLB Roundtable. Love that. Right after this, they're gonna be talking all about the non existent free agency in baseball. Um, all right, number five seed, Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Cool. Against the number twelve seed, Beloit. I feel Sna- like the blue wa- the the blue Wahoos is a little redundant because Wahoos are kind of you know already blue. Jeremy, shut up. Uh, <laughs> number twelve seed, <laughs> number twelve seed, uh, Beloit Snappers. Awesome. I okay. think that's that one. Uh, the committee ranked that one a little too low. Um, number number uh, number three seed, Toledo Mud Hens. Awesome. Great one. Versus the number 14 seed El Paso Chihuahuas. I'm a big Chihuahuas guy. I like that. Yeah, name. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, but it's not. It shouldn't be more than like a 14. It's not very intimidating. Other than rubber ducks, that's the best one. That's that's false. Um, committee obviously thinks it's a 14 seed. It is Radford University. <laughs> it is a Big South school. Okay. <laughs> um, number four seed, the Fayetteville Woodpeckers. Nice. Against the number 13 seed, Albuquerque Isotopes. That's the 13? Yeah. The, that's the 13? I mean, you have to it's get the, the Simpsons. You reference. have to get the Simpsons. Like, you gotta get, you have to get also the Simpsons. The, I mean, that's just. Oh, that's that's the biggest travesty here. They had a disappointing. The Isotopes at 13? They, they're usually a very good team, but they snuck into the tournament. Are we talking about how good the teams are or how good their names are? Um. We we don't know how good the team is, but from but we know that they they weren't as good as they once were. Okay. That does not seem like a compelling argument. No, it's not at all. Um, all right. So our last matchup right now, number six, Fort Wayne Ten Caps. Yeah. Eleven Midland Rockhounds. You have to understand that the Fort Wayne Ten Caps are based off of Johnny Appleseed and their mascot. This is where the logo comes into play. It is an apple with a tin cap on. Hilarious. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's a solid logo. All right. We have one more segment before we get out of here and get to Eric's show. You know, I, I mean, we, we could – Max, do you want to talk about the movie? Do we want to ask Eric what he's excited about with the All-Star game? No, I want to talk about the movie. All right. <laughs> yeah, screw Eric. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, you get off the phone. You can listen in 10 minutes and hear about the all favorite game. segment. Well, kind of. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Love there that are movie. no two words in the English Star- language. Star, Star-, Star- Wars? Wars? No, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of my favorite good movies of all time. Job. So good. You'll always have Paris. Here's Movies with Max. Hey, guys. Hey, Max. How you doing? <laughs> I don't know why I start off with hi guys every it, single week. It works. It definitely right. works. Uh, you heard of this Happy Death Day to you? Yeah, yes. I've seen it. I've not seen it, Wait, but I've, oh, okay. I've seen the preview. Okay, I was going to say, have you seen it? Okay. I uh, really, I need to go watch the movies. Have, have you seen the first Happy Death Day? No, I've not. So like, I need to go watch the movies. Yeah, we talked about this a few weeks ago, Happy Death Day, because I watched the first one a few weeks ago for the first time and really liked it. And I think this is one of those situations where the uh, sequel surpasses the original. 
I think this is uh, this is the best movie I've seen uh, this year that has been released this year. Um, it's it's not really a horror movie, which is what they're selling it as. It's it's more kind of a sci-fi movie uh, with a lot of comedy, uh, a lot of nice dramatic kind of emotional moments. Uh, Jessica Roth is the main character in this. She hasn't really been in much, but she is fantastic. Uh, she kind of sells the whole movie. Um, it, it really wouldn't work without her. And, uh, yeah, I really love this movie. I, I really suggest going seeing it. Nice. So, uh, is it kind of a rom-com too, though, Max? It, it's got a little bit of that. And it's, it's really hard to explain this movie without, uh, without spoiling it. Um, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's kind of the thing where it kind of takes like a turn about halfway through and it kind of changes the whole course of the movie. So I can't really, uh, uh, get into that. that I'll much. be honest with you. I, I saw the trailer for the first one and I thought that was an interesting concept, but it didn't look like it would have been executed properly. So I didn't even go see it's it. Good. It's It's really entertaining and fun. Like if you're looking for an yeah, hour and a half I, of like distraction, it's really good. Jeremy, go ahead. I really liked the first one. Mm-hmm. I just hung up on him. He was adding nothing to our program. He really was. <laughs> he was. I think he honestly he had a terrible day. He he did. He didn't have a great day. He kind of he kind of ruined the show. He was yeah. like uh, anybody named Cody on the Levitard show yeah, this he, week. He didn't have a great day. Oof. Yeah, I mean nobody has a worse day than me every week, but <laughs> at least but in second place is definitely Jeremy Schnell. I'd agree with that. All right, so I'm going to update our polls real Travis quick. Travis had a good day. His Tim Hardaway quip was the best thing of the show today. <laughs> <laughs> when we're in the middle of the other segment, he just goes, Tim Hardaway. <laughs> Travis putting on the poll, is it cold in Guelph? And oh, not- no, I put that on the oh, poll. Oh, you, tr- you didn't capitalize Guelph. Yeah, whatever. What's what? Guelph? It's it's oh, a very gosh. inside joke. Oh, no, okay. Okay. You don't get the <laughs> show, Eric. Okay, 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 okay. um, is Sadrunas Sigowskis a beast? Why did he make it serious? <laughs> <laughs> Should have just been yes or no. <laughs> Should we take Eric? Tra- Eric was Zindrunas Olgowskis a beast? Big Z. Yes. Thank you. In my, both Miami and Cleveland, that's my answer. <laughs> it's just a beast in Cleveland. Just Cleveland. It's terrible in Miami. Uh, should you know who the old ball coach is without saying his name? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Updating the updating the polls. Is it cold in Guelph? Um, 100% yes. Um. Was Zadrunas Ilgowskis a beast? 33% in Cleveland, 0% in Miami, 33% both Miami and Cleveland, and 34% no. Um, and should you know who the old ball coach is without saying his name? 67% yes, 33% no. So, okay, well, that will do it for today's edition of the Why So Serious show on Blaze Radio, blazeradioonline.com. You can follow us on Twitter at the letter Y so serious well the letter y and then so serious show yep. and uh, you can follow max Cavs max 13 we're not going to shout out jeremy's twitter because he doesn't matter and then uh you can follow me at jesse underscore morrison six and eric what's your twitter at eric ruby underscore real uh, simple real right. simple and, and make make uh make sure to stay tuned for eric's excellent serious nba, NBA round table, show baby. also uh my pick for the nascar was uh William Byron, I th- no Kevin Harvick. Kevin oh, Harvick. Mine's uh, Casey Kane if he's still. Re- he he retired. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's my Sam's pick. favorite. That's my pick. <laughs> that's Sam's favorite. And uh, Eric, uh, you, uh, Eric will give you all the NBA All Star talk. I, all I'm excited for is seeing the three point shootout. All right, well that will do it for <laughs> us on this week's show. Stay tuned next week.